Uh, welcome to my fifth video in the series and this one is to do with um, modified reflexes. So if we start off by looking at a traditional reflex arc, um, so a reflex is something which doesn't involve the brain or conscious thinking and um, it usually goes through the spinal cord and so we have our three um, different types of neurons, our sensory neuron, that's the one that takes it from the receptor to the central nervous system, the relay neuron which is usually found in the spinal cord and then you have the motor neuron which is the one that carries it from the central nervous system to the effector, usually the muscle. So in a traditional reflex arc this um, occurs very very quickly and the reason for that is, is it prevents further damage or um, potentially harm to the individual. Now with a modified reflex what you're able to do is you're actually able to physically modify the reflex so that it doesn't go through. The best example of this is with holding a hot cup of tea. Um, holding a hot cup of tea, the normal reflex is because it's hot, it's burning your hand, is to drop it. Now we all know if you've been carrying a cup of tea that's probably not the best idea if somebody's sat near you or if you're in a situation where um, you've got important documents in front of you you don't want to be dropping the cup of tea and spilling it everywhere and so what happens is you can modify that reflex so instead of dropping the cup of tea you can hold on to it so with a modified reflex you can actively stop a, a standard reflex so a good example of this is sword swallowing so reflexes they're involuntary that means they don't involve conscious thought and they're predominantly controlled by the spinal cord so that means that in most instances in most reflexes that the impulse never actually arrives out of the brain so with sword swallowing how this works is it's somebody who's proficient in sword swallowing can actually block the normal gag reflex and the gag reflex is really important so we probably all had the experience of swallowing something and it's gone down the wrong way and the gag reflex stops any food or objects going further down the windpipe and it causes the the muscles within the windpipe to contract and to force the food back up the throat now obviously someone who's doing um, the sword swallowing doesn't want the gag reflex to kick in obviously you've got a sharp knife um, going down your throat isn't a good idea to have a gag reflex when that's going on and so a another signal from the brain basically blocks um, the signal going down the motor neuron and hence the person doesn't gag and performs the trick so modifying your behavior is a huge advantage because it means you don't always necessarily have to react within the same way most simple organisms like invertebrates like insects always act off reflexes and very rarely act off modified behavior hence why it's such an important thing so in summary reflexes are involuntary which means that um, they don't usually involve conscious thoughts so they don't usually involve the brain a modified reflex um, can block the impulse for, um, coming from a motor neuron reaching the effector so it can effectively stop a normal reflex probably the best example of this is if you are holding a hot cup of tea the normal reflex is to drop it but a message is sent from your brain towards if blocking um, the motor neuron and therefore you don't drop the cup of tea this enables organisms to change their behavior which is a huge survival benefit um, so organisms that are able to modify their reflexes are much more likely to survive than ones that are not hence why we have it mm -hmm.